What's old is new again at Procter & Gamble. This is What's News at this hour on WSJ Live. I'm Joanne Poe. P&G CEO Robert McDonald is out of a job and the consumer products giant is bringing back his retired predecessor, A.G. Laffley, effective immediately. The abrupt end to Mr. McDonald's stewardship comes after four years of his struggles to adapt Procter & Gamble to a new world of more frugal consumers and tougher global competition. The maker of Tide, Pampers, Olay skin creams has been under pressure for change from activist hedge fund manager Bill Ackman. Mr. Laffley will step away from his job at a private equity firm and hence there will be more changes to come. The turnaround plan at the Gap continues and is picking up speed. The apparel retailer reporting a 43 percent rise in quarterly profits to $333 million. Same store sales also rising 3 percent from a year earlier at the company's namesake and Old Navy stores while remaining flat at Banana Republic. The latest results keeping analysts encouraged that the Gap is keeping up the positive momentum by its moves to close its stores, improve its product line, and rework its corporate structure. An investigation is underway on what caused a bridge collapse in Washington State Thursday night. Luckily, no fatalities have been reported after a section of the Interstate 5 bridge collapsed, sending vehicles into the water from which three motorists were rescued at the tail end of rush hour. Officials say they are looking into the possibility that an oversized load truck hit the bridge, but that has not been confirmed yet. We'll keep you posted on all the latest news developments throughout the day and what's news on WSJ Live.